the Wacom One Pen display. There's a lot of tech videos out there, so how can I make this one special for you? So a friend of mine actually told me that my English is a little slow. I talk it's slow even in my native language which is Portuguese. I don't think you can talk a much faster than I'm talking right now, but I'll try to compensate that by not wasting your time with this video. Let's go. So these are little stands for the display. Magnets. I love magnets. <laughs> What happens is that it's so easy to record something and we are so naive that we think that everybody should watch it. <coughs> so that is why I think that if you are doing something good, something very creative, it will eventually get to people if you keep doing long enough. <laughs> so my first impression drawing with the Wacom One was that it feels a little bit better than the iPad. An iPad is very good to draw too, but when you draw on the Wacom One it feels so nice and the good thing is that it is small this Wacom is the most approachable that I ever used almost every laptop today comes with a USB-C port so if you have that you can just plug it in and draw I'm gonna show you a little bit closer that the parallax is very narrow what parallax means is the space between the tip of the pen and the display so it kind of feels like you are drawing directly on paper which is pretty cool i was thinking about doing a real illustration so i can have a better idea of how the the display will behave but the thing is i don't know what to draw so one of the things that Rick Rubin mentions in his book, but he says how distractions can be helpful for artists. I'm not talking about procrastination. Procrastination keeps you from doing the work. I'm talking about distractions that can help you do the work. So it's six o'clock right now and I'm gonna go after some distraction and maybe I have an idea of what I can draw. Freando essa, né? Também. Freando? É. Não, deve ser inteiro. Mas é que eu freio. There's things in life that you have to try and try and tweak a little bit there, a little bit here. Hmm, the light is better here. And I feel like this YouTube thing that I'm trying to do here is kind of like that. Every video that I make, I feel like I evolve a little bit more. And some videos I feel like I'm stuck and I don't want to do it anymore. But like other things that I did in my life, I feel like one day this door kind of opens a little bit and you start to see the light. So maybe I'm getting there here. Yeah, I know it's a lot of work <laughs> and sometimes you just want to not give up but rest a little bit. What? I took a shower. So it worked! I had an idea of what I can draw. So let's do it because it's almost, almost 9 o'clock. The most impressive thing is that it's so smooth to draw on the Wacom One. 
it is actually a little bit better than drawing on paper. You know those people that say that they prefer to read on the Kindle? It's kind of the same feeling. This is definitely the best option for beginners. It's amazing, I wish I had that when I started. <laughs> That's it. I'm tired.